this is part two to that video that I was just making, but what I think I'm going to um, title it is, um, you know how they say, fake it till you make it. I made it because I was persistent, not because I faked it. So it don't take faking it. It take being persistent at being that, that you say you are becoming or being that that you see yourself being in the near future anytime you start something you're not familiar with how the process works but you just keep going through those motions of understanding every aspect of that knowledge or whatever it is that you're trying to understand you, you practice until you get better and better at it and that's what I did I didn't understand any of the information that you know I was you know getting familiar with but the more I stayed at it the more I became familiar with it due to the things I was experiencing, the emotions that I was feeling, and the corrections that needed to be made in order for me to understand in a more precise and clear way for me. So, yeah, the other video ended. It said I had 10 minutes, but it stopped at 9 on 4, but it's okay. So I said, well, let me um make another video so I can continue on with what I was saying. But what I was saying was, once I first got started, I didn't, I didn't know nothing. I didn't know where I was going to end up at. I didn't even know if I was going to continue to put in, you know, as much effort as I did to understand the things that I understand now. But I understand. And that's the most rewarding part about it all. It's not me making money. It's not me getting clients. It's not any of that. It's who I have became in the process of me staying consistent in persistent with what I say. I wanted to, to give myself first. This is what I wanted to give me. I wanted to be able to have the tools that I could use in order for me to make better decisions in my life due to the things that, you know, were brought upon me due to I didn't know a lot of things about myself. Or I didn't know that I could choose. I just thought things were, you know, as they were due to the fact that that's how we had to be. But yeah, I'm making a lot of changes in my life. And some things I'm just allowing it to just, you know, remove itself. Because it's just, if something don't belong somewhere, you don't have to push or force something to do anything that don't belong there. It's going to fall away. Because things that are not of equal or are not harmonized or does not have what am I trying to say I know I'm, I'm trying to say anything that doesn't fit or is not compatible or it just has ran its course it's, it can't it can only go so far and I that's with anything relationship any relationship I'm gonna just say it like that in a relationship or any 
encounter that you have, if it's not something for that individual, and if you don't try to force it, it's going to slowly but surely remove itself. That's just, that's just the way it is. If you just allow the flow to happen, you're going to see if it's something that is workable or if it's something that is destructive. Is this, I mean, you know, when I talk about destruction as me being a mystic, everything can be used. Everything is neutral. It's just, you know, the person who is observing it and how the observer interpret it is what is going to make it something unfavorable or something that is going to you know present the results that they will be more likely to you know pay more attention to that's not what i was trying to say but my words are not coming out right now but it's okay but everything happened for a reason everything And that's what I had to learn. You know, I would look at a lot of things as being negative when it wasn't negative, it was neutral. But this is not going to be a long video. I want to make this like maybe 10 minutes too, but well, the other one was nine minutes. But I, I do want to, I can make this 10 minutes because it didn't even have a time period on it. But I'm really speaking of a matter right now. And. You have to like really, really sit with yourself and not have no type of external feedback, especially if that person is not, you know, able. I would just say, especially if that person is not equipped with certain type of wisdom in order to give you the feedback or the solutions or the the consultation that you need at the time in order to understand what's happening in your life at the time. If that person is not, you know, skilled to do that, it's not wise for an individual to listen to them. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it is two individuals that I love so dearly that looks at me in a way that seems as if I don't love them, but I do. And I spoke upon this on many of my videos about how I, you know, express my love for individuals that I care about. And it looks so different. And it's because I do not force anybody to do nothing that they don't want to do. And yes, with anybody or anything, I give everybody the same you know, freedom, or I give everybody the same, how can I say this? I give everybody the same respect when it comes to how I handle individuals that are not, you know, aware of themselves. Or just, look at it, I'm going to just say aware, period. I give everybody the same respect. But here's the thing. When they show me who they are, 
I have to treat you accordingly. And yes, this does has a uh, a age grace period. It does. It does. And what I mean by that is like, if you are, I'm gonna say, ten or younger, I handle things accordingly. You know, I mean it. Yeah, I do show up differently because. I just feel like they're really not capable of doing things the way that I normally do it with individuals. <clears throat> so I'm out, I'm over ten, but I'm gonna say this: with me making my decision about how I'm gonna handle those two loved ones in my life. I wish them nothing but the best, but I refuse to allow anybody to dictate how I live my life anymore. I refuse that. And I'm only saying this because I know I'm going to have to make decisions based upon how they move. Based upon how they discern things for them, based upon how they are believing I am treating them, or how I am supporting them, or how I'm just doing anything when it comes to them that they just have a distorted, you know. vision of me of this is not going well but I think I'm going to have to do another video about this because this is a touchy subject but I, I observe that's what I do and I pay attention to what's important to individuals and you know that says a lot what people feel like are important which I'm not judging nobody, but it does base a lot of their choices off of what people think is important or not. People can be like, oh, because you didn't buy me something, you don't care about me. That, but that don't make a person care for you because they do or don't buy you nothing. But everybody perceives things differently, so who am I to judge? I just know what's best for me. And I just know that I'm not going to allow anybody to tell me how to live my life anymore. And I do mean anybody. So I'm going to turn this off now.